Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another Simply Answers Quick Tip, and this one is about Time Machine. Now, if you're not familiar with Time Machine, Time Machine is this little application down here in the bottom of your dock, and its job is to back up everything on your computer to an external hard drive. The reason that this is important is that most every computer in the world is using a spinning hard drive. And so due to friction or time or dust or something, something is going to cause that drive to stop. Um, it's just a matter of fact that hard drives eventually will fail. It's not a matter of if it's going to fail, it's just a matter of when. And so Time Machine allows us to back up everything to an external hard drive and this application comes with your new computer just right out of the box. So all we need to do is plug in an external hard drive and I actually have this one from the C, so I'm going to plug that in right now. You'll see it pop up here over in the side and it has now on your computer, it may ask you, uh, do you want to use this drive with Time Machine? And that's great. In my case, it hasn't. So I'm just going to come here to System Preferences, click on Time Machine, and select my backup disk. You can see there's my LC drive, and I'm going to click on Use for Backup. And that's pretty much all I have to do. But I'm going to come up here and type in Time Machine backups. So I know that this drive is dedicated to back up my time machine. Now if you're on a laptop we recommend getting a drive that's mobile so it can go with you places but if you're on a desktop feel free to get any kind of drive you want and just leave it plugged in as much as you want. You can see here Time Machine keeps hourly, daily, and weekly backups of all of your data. So the more you can leave your drive plugged into Time Machine the better. You can see my backup's going to start here in about 80 seconds, but I can come up here to the top where the time machine icon is and tell it to back up now. Now what it's doing is it's calculating all the information that it needs to back up onto this external drive, and the very first time you get a backup, you're going to see this little progress bar down here in the bottom. Go ahead and just ignore that. You can even minimize it if you choose to, because your very first backup could take as long as five hours. So I'm going to let this back up, and I'll see you guys when it's all done.